Welcome, dear viewers. In today's video, we're diving deep into the life and actions of Ratko Mladic, the notorious former Bosnian Serb military leader whose role in the Bosnian War left an indelible mark on history. We'll explore his rise through the ranks, his involvement in the Siege of Sarajevo and the Srebrenica Massacre, and the long road to justice that led to his eventual conviction. So grab a seat and let's unravel the complex story of Ratko Vladik together. Ratko Vladik, emerging into this world on the 12th of March, 1942, within the quaint village of Bosanovici, nestled near the town of Kalinovic, in present-day Bosnia and Herzegovina, wore the weight of a brutal reputation. The former Bosnian Serb military commander gained infamy for his chilling role in the tumultuous Bosnian War, spanning from 1992 to 1995. Tragedy struck Mladic's life early on as the ravages of World War II claimed his father, who fell at the hands of Ustase forces when Ratko was a mere two years old. Upon completing military school, Mladic swiftly climbed the ranks of the Yugoslav People's Army, displaying a keen aptitude for leadership and astute tactical acumen. By the time the Yugoslav Wars erupted in 1991, Mladic had attained the rank of colonel. In the ensuing chaos of 1992, Mladic found himself appointed as Chief of Staff of the self-proclaimed Republika Srpska's army, subsequently helming Bosnian Serb forces throughout the harrowing Bosnian War. The international community would come to know him through two horrifying events, the Siege of Sarajevo, an unparalleled display of endurance in modern warfare, and the Srebrenica Massacre, Europe's most heinous act of genocide since World War II. Both events bore witness to the unspeakable brutality unleashed upon Bosniak civilians, culminating in the loss of thousands of lives and indescribable suffering. The war's conclusion in 1995 saw Mladic, indicted by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia ICTV, on a litany of charges including genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes. Despite the indictment, Mladic skillfully evaded capture, disappearing into the shadows for over a decade. In the spring of 2011, after 16 long years, Mladic's flight from justice came to an abrupt halt when authorities apprehended him in Serbia. Swiftly extradited to the Hague, Netherlands, he would stand trial before the IST2I in a court proceeding lasting from 2012 to 2017, forever etched into the annals of the tribunal's history. Ultimately, Mladic was convicted on 10 of the 11 charges, a verdict encompassing genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity resulting in a life sentence. In June 2021, his appeal was denied, cementing his fate. The conviction of Mladic was widely lauded as a triumph of justice, a crucial step towards mending the scars left by the Bosnian War. Nevertheless, his legacy endures as a contentious subject, with some Serbs venerating him as a hero, while many Bosniaks perceive him as the very embodiment of the suffering they experienced during the conflict. The life and deeds of Ratko Vladik serve as a harrowing reminder of the unspeakable atrocities that can transpire amidst the chaos of war and ethnic strife. Moreover, they highlight the indispensable role of international justice in holding the perpetrators of such heinous acts accountable for their actions. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Ratko Vladik, a man whose actions continue to evoke strong emotions and serve as a potent reminder of the horrors of war and ethnic conflict. As we've seen, international justice plays a critical role in holding those responsible for such atrocities accountable. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.